welcome to If You Did The Internet Show with the esports and the gaming and the hot topics. Two dummies share their opinions as well. I'm Rosa Roberta. I'm like that you included yourself in that. I'm Brody Moore. <laughs> if you're new here, that's cool. Here's how it works. We each present a topic worth discussing. As you can see right at the bottom of your screen, there'll be two minutes on the board and a mute button we can each use to shut each other up for mm -hmm. 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. You ready? I was born ready. You were born ready to yeah. lose, you dummy. Okay. Let's dive into our top story with the hottest game of the year so far. It's Apex Legends. Mm -hmm. Apex Legends has new leaks every single week, it seems, and the newest one claims that missions may be added to the game in the future. Mm -hmm. Players are speculating that missions could be similar to Fortnite's challenges, where players advance through the ranks of the battle pass through completing certain actions. Mm -hmm. so there's been a lot of controversy, uh, about controversy. controversy about the leveling system right now in yeah. Apex that it's like, takes too long, it's too dumb. Do you think there's a good solution? In the Battle Pass. Yeah, in, in the, the Battle, battle pass. pass version, disclaimer, Battle Pass version of okay. Apex, there has been, you know, some issues. So th this is all just speculation. All this is speculation because it's like, why would it be hard to level up in the Battle Pass? Well, maybe there will be other missions or other things that you'll need to do there. So people are kind of just looking for like that PVE scenario, right? Where an environment might affect them in some way to help them So is this a good idea XP. in your opinion, though? Uh, well, I mean, it's just speculation i don't i feel like yes why not then you're wrong no this is a this is a bad idea we there should not to maintain competitive integrity in a game you should not have players going to do other missions that are not to win the match and play as a team there's a reason that they will not add those kind of things into Rocket League. Because what's gonna happen is your teammates, instead of playing the game as a team, are gonna try to get turtle goals, or can try to do ceiling shots, and all of a sudden, it's ruining the experience for other players. Now you're playing in a team-based game like Apex, and all of a sudden your teammate's like, JK, I don't wanna rotate properly, I'm gonna go over there where there's a mission, kill some things or whatever, and then come back to you guys. Now these two teammates just got into a battle and died because their other teammate frigged off somewhere. So no. <sighs> Okay, uh, now that I'm unmuted, are you done? Yes. Okay. No. Uh, yeah. Brody, honestly, I love how you took everything that we just learned for this, and it's all speculation, and then turned it into some kind of reference you can make about Rocket League. This is not Rocket League. This is <laughs> no, not how that just, works. I'm just saying, the reason Fortnite does it is because it's not a true competitive game. That's oh, why it gets okay. away with it. I just feel like... What? Listen, why can't these games carve out their own niche of something? Why does it have to follow some kind of formula that you are used to, that you enjoy? Why can't other people enjoy other things? Because the things that I enjoy are right. Time's up, Rudy Moore, okay? <laughs> Google Stadia was announced this week, and according to a report from Xbox leak site Turret, Xbox Phil Boss, oh, his, the boss, Phil Spencer, yes, not, not, the Xbox, boss man. not Xbox <laughs> Phil Boss, but yeah, he is the boss, Phil Spencer, isn't too worried, at the head of Xbox, allegedly said in an email, allegedly, that Stadia reveal had no big surprises, and that Xbox would go big at E3 in June, so. Allegedly. Allegedly, is Spencer right? to not be worried. So, I mean, like, no. what do you think, Brody? Yeah, I mean, like, I, I, again, there's been a lot of talk about this. I guess it's time for me to put in my two cents. Um, I'm <laughs> waiting, not that anyone, I'm moving not that this. Wants <laughs> I'm taking yeah. this away from you. Um, <laughs> and Stadia will not take over the market. It will not replace the currently existing market. Um, there is a use for physical things like consoles in your house, whether it's a PC, mm -hmm. a console, whatever it is. There is a need for that because first off, offline play. Right? But frequently my internet goes down. Can I just not play video games now? It's no. Because he doesn't pay I don't want, I just want to. No, it's. It, <laughs> that is why. No. I don't pay my lie. bills. It's just okay. because telecom companies can be very unreliable. <laughs> Uh, anyways, no, the, uh, there's a need for it, for offline play. Modders, modding is a huge um, thing in the gaming community, especially on PC, right? You, you can't mod games that aren't on your own computer. So Fair. it's like, you, the Google Stadia is going to take over uh, what OnLive was doing. Yeah. They're not going to take over what Xbox was doing. No, no, of right? course like, not. And I think this goes back to my original point from the last topic is that this is can be its own thing. Xbox is its own thing, mm -hmm. has been its own beast of a thing for a while, and it has its own fans. It has a huge community of people that love it and are used to it and will continue to play their games mm -hmm. on that platform. And they also reach out and do other things as well. It's not They're not just sticking to their own platform as well, as they've seen with their news recently with the Switch as well, right? So they're going to be doing their own thing. Google has its own thing as well. I think we can all live in peace and harmony in this world of video games yeah. that we enjoy so much. I mean, I... 
I don't, I don't, I think it's kind of, I do think it's kind of downplaying what Stadia did. Like, Stadia did have some really good ideas. Well, it but has I to downplay like, it a little bit. I mean, it's a company still competing with their company in some way. It's fair. I guess to Allegedly. say it's completely, yeah, completely unsurprising, I think is kind of odd unless obviously he had insider info, but it's like, he doesn't have to worry. Um, and yeah. especially as you mentioned before, um, great, uh, great lead into the next bit here, because in uh, other Xbox news, uh, the publisher has revealed that it's trying to add Xbox Live support to Nintendo Switch. Mm -hmm. With Cuphead coming to the Switch this year, Xbox said it plans to actually work on Xbox Live integration with the console so it can be added in the coming months. Now that's interesting. So you're starting to see a lot of these companies have different approaches mm -hmm. to the gaming world. Everyone's trying to not just make a console anymore. Yep. They're trying to, like, Xbox is like, no, we have a service now. It's going to be across mm -hmm. everything. Is this a good idea, though, for Xbox? Oh Having my gosh, of course. Having service available everywhere? Dude, the thing I love most about Xbox, um, like, full disclaimer, like, I do do a lot of work do with do. Xbox. <laughs> I, oh, my God. I, I do a lot of work with Xbox as well. They, you know, I love their community. I love the people behind Xbox. I just yeah. love everything about them. So um, I am an Xbox fan girl, you know, as it were. But I also love my Switch. I love Nintendo so much, and the fact that they're going to be working together in harmony makes me so mm -hmm. happy. And that's another thing too that I love about them is that they would never, they never tried to poo-poo anything that I would tweet or not to bring it back to poo-poo or doo-doo, but um, anything that I, I, any love that I give to Nintendo, like they're all for it because they love Nintendo too, and this is why they're, they have this their amazing online system to be available on the Switch. Like, this is why I love Xbox, because their community is amazing, their Xbox Live integration is amazing, and the fact yeah. that we're going to get to have this on the Switch is incredible. The fact that, like, Cuphead developers also, they, their game gets to be on the Switch platform, that really, it will shine on that platform as well. Question for you then, do you, do you think that maybe we're going to see Xbox step away from making their own hardware, and now just make software service that is available on other platforms? I mean, why not? Why can't we have that? I feel like we have... Oh, I'm not saying not. I'm just saying, yeah. do you think that's going to happen? I mean, yeah, because think about the cost that goes into making hardware. Like, it is exponential. And not only that, but also the R&D that goes into it as well. To not have to spend money on that and just and just work on all of these different companies that they've acquired, all these different game developers, all, the, all these different amazing talents that they've now acquired under their umbrella, that they can actually use all of that and offer it to people on other platforms. Like, the Switch. Obviously, I mean, Sony doesn't play really with anybody else, so they're going to be kind of doing their own thing for a while, but I think at some point, it would be nice to have everybody work together and be one big happy family, so, and so we can do all right of the Xbox Live by everywhere. analyst M. Rob, what? there will be no next Xbox. I, I never said that. You don't quote me. Do not <laughs> quote that. <laughs> She knows the inside <laughs> info. <laughs> no, I don't. In an interview with Ashon Esports, Action Esports, Hunter Thieves support, Afro Moose said that dealing with fan criticism is part of the job. That's it. He said that while it really sucks, that he'd rather prefer to be talked about in a good way, dealing with criticism from fans is something he just has to deal with. So, Brody, I mean, how do you deal with fan criticism, number one? Like, does it ever get to be too much for you? Uh, no, I was born into it. I mean, like, look what I have to deal with. Like, first thing I come in, you're probably just saying something mean about me. This is what I deal with here. Okay, and then, well, and now I guarantee you, <laughs> chat and the comments right now are saying something mean about, say no, something mean about me to prove me right. No, but, uh, no it, it's something you have to do. In the, when you're in the public eye, um, you're going to have that. No, you shouldn't have to deal with that. Yeah. yeah it, it sucks. And it is, you know, the first time that I ever had to deal with yeah. real criticism. The worst is when the criticism is right. Because <laughs> then. Oh, my God, that's so true. Because then it's like, oh. Oh, like I know, like it you can't brush it off it, anymore. It stings a little bit. Well, you just have to laugh about it. Yeah. Like when I was hosting that GLL event in Sweden, and somebody commented, whoa, look at the schnoz on that one. <laughs> that hurt me because it was true. <laughs> But yeah, no, uh, I'm not going <laughs> like to dispute, but no, it, 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 uh, it, it is something you have to deal with. You're, you're going to have to, re you realize too, um, just put a little understanding and empathy to your haters as well. Understand yeah. that a lot of these people mm -hmm. are younger. Yep. They don't understand. Some of them are, again, don't have the social skills. Mm -hmm. You know, they're inside, um, so they don't get out there. They don't know what can hurt people. Yeah. So they speak what they think is the truth, mm -hmm. but they don't see... You no, behind closed doors and sure. how it's hurting. It's just a blanket, you. like, um, trying to make a statement on whatever they think they're trying mm -hmm. to be funny or they're feeding into trolls. Because sometimes, honestly, when people are having a rough go in life, and I find this to be the case, um, they tend to take that and they project it on others and they take joy in seeing others' pain. So, yeah. um, unfortunately, that has been the case online. 
Uh, even recently, when I see haters on my Twitter, if they're at me mentioning me in some way or they're just hating on me in some way, like I will actually take the time to ask them if like everything's mm -hmm. cool, like is everything going well with you right now? Because like you're kind of sipping a haterade. And honestly, a lot of the time, people will just be honestly back saying like, yeah, you're right. I'm not. I'm just not having the best time right now. Because that's all it is. It's just like people reaching out because they need some kind of attention. They don't really know the kind of attention that they yeah. need, right? I, tr I try to pull the Marshall Mathers kind of mentality on it. Is that, that if you put all of, say all the bad things about yourself first. Nobody else has anything else to say. Okay, I have a, I have a big nose. <laughs> is, this is, yeah. this, is this an intervention? This is an I'm Italian, okay? And I have a mustache that I need to get rid of every two weeks. Anyway, now it's time to see what streamers are up to in Clip It. Our first clip comes from Miss Kip, who, who is excited for the date that quickly got fizzled. Have a date tomorrow. I know. Uh, I think. I up. E Rob just reminded me. Um, so here's what happened. So she said, Can we do 10 p.m.? It might take some time to get home and change. She sent that Monday. I just answered her 10 minutes ago. <laughs> oh, I'm calling someone! I'm calling her! <laughs> Yo, when things go wrong, they all go wrong. Um, I feel like you definitely have forgotten or mixed up the date for something. For sure, you have. Well, you I mean, I don't, I don't get dates with people, so that's never been an issue. But, really? <laughs> but uh, no, I, I, I definitely am like bad. Like I have to use my uh, OK Google, and I hope I just set off everyone's Google <gasps> Homes right you now. You just did. <laughs> um, that uh, I have to say, remind me to do this, and then it just does its little ding for me on my phone and stuff because uh -huh. I'm, yeah, I'm. There's usually so much in my mind going on because I have a big brain that's like I forget about some things sometimes. <laughs> Is that your insult to yourself? You have a big brain? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I actually totally messed up this summer and I thought that my friend's wedding, like very, you missed a wedding? very close friend's wedding was on a Saturday when it was on the Friday. It was on Friday. He called. He called after the wedding already started like three hours later, asking where we were. Showing how important it was that you were yes. there. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, I've never felt so mortified in my life. I've never driven as fast as I had that evening in my life. Yo, I had to drive to St. Catharines from Toronto. Yo, made it like an hour before the wedding was done. Everybody was already like in the bag. I, but the point is I made it. Bro. Okay? Yo, I know, No one's one upping that, wow. It was it was a it was a low point for me. Oh my god. Maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Okay, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let you stew on that for a bit. Okay. We're gonna move on. Our next our next clip is from Timpani, a Mario Odyssey streamer whose mom had something to say. Mm. Yeah, no, I love Timpani. He's a good dude. He's there for me. Yeah. Do you support Timpani and I's friendship, mom? <laughs> uh, can I get you a job? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So she's just looking out, though. I mean, like, she's just looking yeah, out. it's it's the it's a classic like yeah. mom doesn't understand streaming in video games kind of thing. No, of course. But like, um, still, they're wrecked, <laughs> dude. I mean, it's it almost kind of hurts. Like she, yeah. she got all of us with that. Really, it's like anybody that like streams, did we all just get wrecked? Um, yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Mom, you and mom sure a few. You get wrecked. Burn. Yeah, you can't one up mom. Yeah. <laughs> Your mom ever gotten you? Oh, yes. I mean, several times. I can't, like, even when we first launched the show, it's make like, it easy, I'm like, shit, Brony. I, I'm like, Mom, did you watch the show? What do you think? She's, she, I told you this. Oh, she's, yeah. like, she's like, oh, I mean, yeah, I really liked it, but, like, do you think you could sit up straight? Your, Your co host has nice posture. Which is hilarious, because I really think I have the worst posture. I know. See, now I'm, like, sitting up straight, like, Mommy. And now, and now I'm out of frame. <laughs> I don't want to disappoint you, Mommy. <laughs> All right, moving on. And now that's that time of the show where we take a deep dive into the minds of the pros as they usually leave something juicy on the Twitterverse for us to enjoy. Like this little nugget from Overwatch host Sideshow, who just not that into his talent photo and maybe should have been consulted first. Hmm. You see Overwatch League tweeted about their all access pass Q&A with talent and then Sideshow just replied with, please never use this image again. Bro, okay, so I'm, I mean, <laughs> first off, I'm just, you know, don't work well with cameras with this area anyways, but with yeah, still photos. Yeah, it's like the no chin thing. Yeah, I have no chin. <laughs> but the, the, the worst, the worst is still photos. I don't know. I just, I, I have no, I have too. no good side. So it's like still photos. Like I'll get one shadow and I'm like, that like kind of overshadows my yeah, yeah. deeper side. I'm like, no, 
Man, don't use this I ever. I know, it feels bad. It sucks because, like, honestly, as an organizer, you kind of just have to put a photo out right away, and you just kind of think that you have the best photo of talent, so you put it out I'm there. I'm pretty but sure honestly, we've like, done that to people, We too. for sure have. <laughs> we definitely have um, Lawler. Yeah. Yo, call yo, us yo. Shout, out to, shout out to Lawler <laughs> in chat. Um, no, yeah, we've definitely done that. But the thing is, like, talent, they are forward-facing, and they really should be... They really should be consulted before their photos go out. Okay, this is the PSA to yeah. any event out there. Yeah. Consult talent. <laughs> well, just because, like, you know, egos, egos are fragile. Yeah. And, and you don't want to hurt ones. them just before they go out there. It's tough out there, you know? Mm -hmm. Bright lights, that. people watching, commenting in chat about your big nose, etc. Mm -hmm. And feels on this as well. Because okay. there was a lot of COD drama recently mm. on Reddit. Stirred up by the infamous gossip girl <laughs> of the Call of Duty world. It's COD Burner, you know it. J Cap was at the center of it all and had some words. Here are some of them. There were a lot, trust me. Mm -hmm. All I want to address right now is the fact that COD Burner has the whole community believing that I brainwashed three adult men. It's completely laughable, but everyone believes it because this community is all hive mindset. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to think for yourself sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's a good message. Uh, so Zurich and I are going to get into this a little deeper. We're going to be sipping mm -hmm. a little tea with you tomorrow on Esports in 30, and we'll dive really deep into this because there's a whole like there's a whole yeah. mess that's going on in the Call of Duty community right now. But the thing is, what, like, what is this? <sighs> like, why is it the COD, the COD scene? Is this good for the COD scene? Oh my gosh, this is amazing for the COD uh, okay, scene. Okay, you think? This is oh, this is so good for the COD scene. This is exactly what I'm talking about with the Call of Duty community. Like, I love them so much, not only because like their events are hype, they're so much fun to watch, but the fact that like they air out all of their dirty laundry on Twitter and on Reddit like it is it is a hive mind Jcap is right and people do need to understand that especially the fans that they do a lot of this as fan service like they're doing this because they want you guys to sip tea they want you to eat popcorn they want you to get involved in their scene because it's important for them for you to watch and get involved right so Wait, I mean so now you're are you saying it's all colluded and I'm they don't actually it's hate each other I'm not and it's all it's made colluded, up and fabricated but now we're stuff, WWE no but this stuff could be done behind closed doors. They choose not to do it behind closed doors because it's entertaining, they know it's entertaining, and we're gonna dive right in with our popcorn. I'm full in, all of it, like even Courage is into it. The whole scene got involved, but Jcap is right here in this post, and Clay had a lot of really great posts too. Um, but yeah, you, you really do need to think for yourselves. Like really take in all the information. Don't just jump on whatever bandwagon your buddy is on or whatever bandwagon the Reddit thread brings you into. Really, you gotta think for yourself, people. It's important. It is important. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, I don't know if I'm into that. I don't know if I'm into this. <laughs> really? It's so much drums. I love it so much. Well, that's a good thing I'm not doing it with you tomorrow. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Zero, <laughs> watch out. Last but not least, we've got top esports journalist, consultant, eh, sometimes, potster, Rod Reslow, a.k.a. Mm -hmm. Slasher, who used that delightful stats algorithm to display esports prize pools over the years. So I love this so much. Here we go. Let's take a look at this. So he says, an awesome look at the top games in esports by prize money, starting from near the beginning of esports in 2000 up to today. So oh, watch. I've, I've seen this done with a few things. This is an incredible yeah, I visualization. Lo I love this algorithm. It's what so I do, great. I'm not going to spoil it, but I want you to watch League of Legends hopes just get crushed. When League of Legends gets up near the top, Yes, and, and watch, watch how, like, happens. this is Counter-Strike, but, but way back Counter-Strike. This is not, also, there's a, yeah, exactly, this is 1.6, so CSGO is still in there and also has to do its own climbing. What I do love is StarCraft was still climbing uh, in yeah, the late 10 There it is, Dota! Oh, oh Get right. okay. Dota, <laughs> Every take it time over. an international comes around, it just, like, doubles its lead. Yeah. That's, it's nuts. I mean, and if you notice, like, Hearthstone's up there, too, man. You always hit on card games, but Hearthstone has a huge prize pool as well. It's crazy because they're so, like, they're, like, quietly well-funded. You know, yeah. it's just, like... I, it's, not, it's not quietly. You just don't pay attention to the card scenes. And That's you do? Problem. Well, more than you. <laughs> like, yeah. we don't need to get into this whole thing, Brody, but yeah, you gotta put some respect on it. You feel? So to be fair, that's not anything to do with anything outside of prize pools. Those were just, just prize pools. Just the prize money, yeah. Um, yeah, we're not talking about salaries, we're not talking about any of that, because obviously that will change the algorithm completely. Yeah, and maybe so, Hearthstone wouldn't be up there. So as of now, it's Dota is way ahead. CSGO, yeah. of course. Um, I, actually, you know, what do you think in the next year or two, what do you think is gonna break into that top three or top five spot do you think so there's like a game uh, it's gonna be uh pc version halo 3. you think i don't know <laughs> okay check. But wouldn't that be wonderful I, I i think it would be fantastic yeah I know. 
either way, great for whatever game it is in that scene, JK, right? JK, it's going to be Clash Royale. All right, Chad, give us your thoughts on that as well. But we're going to move on right now because it's time for crowd control. Mm -hmm. we get all the goodies from around the web. This first one is artist Hannah Hillam has an unfortunately relatable comic for some of us, uh, eventually all of us. If you experience any three of these things, I'm afraid to say, but you're getting old. Oh, no. No, Marissa, you might uh, feel some of these. So getting up. older, part one video games, there's eye strain. Just general confusion, because Fortnite, I love that. The makeshift lumber support, okay, I got that one. I don't have that. The carpal tunnel flare up. I don't have that. You know? What do you have here? Only, I, only when I play fighting games. Yeah, no, so you got carpal tunnel. Only when I play fighting games. You definitely have problems with your eyes. Okay, well, that's just from, you know, childhood days. Sometimes, you're, I, you're confused a lot. What? Well, whatever. You're old. Ah, Bernie, Marissa, you're, you're confirmed, old. Confirmed, right here, you're old. I'm 50. <laughs> 50 years old. Kate, just, honestly, I don't like any of this. Huh? And that's not, that wasn't me, okay? Yeah. Sometimes you get eye strain too. She actually drew a portrait of I you. I know, that actually looks, <laughs> looks like a lot of me when I'm at home because I always do, like, I call it my little cumberbund. Like, that's when I like, get into business. I'm going to get my hair up, I'm going to get things done. Uh, okay, we're moving on. All right? <laughs> let's not talk about how old we are anymore. Instead, let's talk ambitious crossovers. Reddit use PD Pariah, he drew up a little sketch of what he thinks Kratos would look like in the Pokemon universe. Oh, I love this. Oh. Oh, yeah. Look at that. He's got that. He's like, yes, Machoke has a beard. Machoke has a beard, yeah. Now, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking now what? of crossovers. Okay. I'm thinking of a few. Would you like to share with the rest of the No, class? not yet. I'm thinking how they'd work. I, would you cross? I'm just trying to think what you'd cross over. Just be Animal Crossing to start uh, No, no, no. Uh, yeah, I would do that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Actually, yes, I would. No, uh, I'm telling you, Animal Crossing... Um, but Animal Crossing in like some crazy BR situation. So like it would what? be the different villages. It would be like town, like town versus town basically. And like it's town wars, but with Animal Crossing characters, like little anthropomorphic animals just out there running amok. What, do you have to murder each other? Like what's the objective? Um, yeah, okay, let's murder each other. Let's murder each other. Jesus, okay. Uh, wow. Battle Royale. There's just or just, or just burn out. houses. Burn them down. Burn oh, them. I'm scared now. <laughs> A good thing this is our last post and, and I can Nook leave you. Like Jesus. On his our last post is the ultimate example of being a bro. Scump, your teammate eight, or Hex, sorry, has your back, man. Mm. Okay. Questions. Well, I'm going to make it more awkward. Uh, you recently just got a bill that you canceled. Uh, wow. uh, a credit card bill <laughs> that you canceled. What was it? Uh, it was for a gym. No, it wasn't. Totally. What, was <laughs> no, the name of the, what, was, what was the name of the gym? Uh, Brazzers? Yes. Okay, so you canceled his gym membership at Brazzers, which is cool. I, I just don't understand why he was using your credit card to get that gym membership when he asked his... Okay, 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 okay wait, I don't, I don't get it. You don't get it? I don't... I don't get it. Is Yo, that like ultimate, bro? We got to shout out uh, by teammate. By the way, I meant owner. So he's looking. Oh. He's looking out for his players. Okay, but... and that and that was his mom. <laughs> that was that was Scump's mom. That was Scump's mom, and so he put a gym membership on her credit card, but it's a not gym really. Membership. Okay, but it's not really gym membership. I guess. Well, you're still burning calories. I don't calories, know. But... I don't. What is what is that? <laughs> Find out. I, you don't I'm know. Gonna... You don't know. I'm gonna Google it right now. So, I don't care. I guarantee you. Uh, well, I'm I'm thinking most people in our chat probably understand. Mm. Oh, it's good. I'm scared. I'm okay. Oh! <laughs> you guys! You're in incognito mode, right? Oh! Mom, I'm so Yo, sorry. Is that not that's the not ultimate cool. bro thing to do? his mom's credit card. Is that, the, that no, that, that's what he pointed out. It's like, why well, no, he's got his own credit card. Why is he putting cool. that on? Also, it's fine. You know what? Mm -mm. I don't like that either. And the whole bro code thing, I, I don't believe in that either. We should okay. all be on the same page. I just, it's fine. It's, it's what? Fine. I just don't believe in that. I believe it's that just, it's an stitches. unspoken thing. Do, like, do, do you, uh, women have the thing? Like, there's like just an unspoken thing you've been saved. Someone else has like saved you from a situation. No, I think that sure. Yeah, we all. I don't like that side versus side. I don't like that at all. I feel like we all should be on the same page. And the app pages, stitches get stitches. Oh, Carmel will I'm get on that them. page. Don't be a dirty rat. But we're on a page without even having to be on a page. Okay, Brody. This has been delightful as always. Let us know who you think had a better day today. Press one in chat for me and two for Boo. We'll see you next time. But until then, hit us up on all our socials at Squad State. We'll see you next time.